body of work felled once more, you find yourself once more alone in a wagon. But now you begin to see the pattern, the cadence. Each loop is different, each formation of companions a variation. And yet, there is a process, a procedure. You don't know how many loops it will take, but there must be an end. So you press on. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Orn. And we are uh, back at it in Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, having just felled the body of work, it's time to uh, take, a, uh, take a minute and go back to the beginning. Um, and I'm actually going to go back to an uh, old formation, uh, one that we ran quite a long time ago and never um, and didn't have success with. So now we're going to go back and uh, right past wrongs. And that formation is Don't Fear the Reaper. Uh, so let's meet our let's meet our companions here. Uh, this formation was requested a long time ago by a longtime subscriber Kiryu Hanzo, and uh, he currently kind of dominates the. Uh, well, I should say he or she dominates the uh, the chart of uh, formations requested. But if you would like to request a formation, leave a comment down below with the name of the formation and uh, if there's a reason why. Happy, happy to take suggestions. There's 140, by my count, named formations, and uh, we're eventually going to play all of them. But let's meet our companions. So we've got Alhazred the Occultist. At this point, we have everything unlocked, so we really have an opportunity to play whatever the heck we want. And I think we're going to take out we're going to take out Ritualist here. He's Tangle Explorer and uh, Pyrophobic. Well, that doesn't really match with the the Runaway much, does it? Uh, and the reason we're going to take out Ritualist is uh, the occultist here, Alhazred, is our healer. So we're going to we're going to want him to be there. And I I need to do a better job of like working some of the debuffs. I've I've in the past been kind of you know I don't want to say dismissive, but I've I've not been impressed by them. So I want to try to use these a bit more. And I think weaken over vulnerable maybe. And the combo points pretty pretty tempting. So we'll set up something like this, kind of my standard backline occultist, but uh, we'll look to try to see if we can use combo points to generate um, generate some unkept power, or maybe we just have to use chaotic offering. Uh, next up is uh, the ever, or well, actually, hang on, before we do that, let's, uh, I mean, aspirant looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's that vibes with me. Uh, I mean, I think we got to go with uh, Cthulhu here. Our little Cthulhu statue. So yeah. Next up is uh, Audrey. Long time running grave robber here. She is locked in as a dead eye, And I don't believe we can change that. I know there's a plan. Um, and actually that might be this patch. So let's let's see what happens if we do this. I mean what is she locked in as? She's got the jinx. Okay so. It would suck to lose that. Um, and memory wise I'm sure she has a couple. But let's see what happens if we. Uh, swap her over to maybe Venom Drop. Okay, that went without a... Uh... Oh, interesting. Now now the path is separate from the reset memory. So we can't change Audrey's name, though I can, of course, edit the file to change her name. Um, but the point is that we can uh, we can still rename the character, but now we can switch between the hero paths. Um, I kind of want to use Venom Drop. I think we're going to go go with kind of a... Uh, Venom droppy sort of uh, build here, which means that flashing daggers actually gets the nod. Um, we probably we could still be lunge pirouetting. Um, I don't know that we need glint in the darks, but I don't know how much we even want her to move. She kind of belongs there because we don't really want to bring. We well, we could bring the warlock up. We could bring, or the Ritualist step, we could bring him up and let him use Sacrificial Stab. Because she works just fine from the back rank. But that's three turns to get the Lunge Pirouette combo off. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's let's try that out. Let's let's start with that. We'll, we'll go Venom Drop, but kind of do the Lunge Pirouette into... Um, into just throwing throwing daggers. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, next up is uh, Clive, our very long-running um, 
Highwayman. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the um, in the files. It counts the the actor, so each character has like a count of how many um, how many iterations they've been. Most of my characters are in the the hundreds and hundreds. Uh, Clive is fifty one. Uh, once once we got him to uh, once we got a memory on him, we never uh, we never looked back. This is long running. Um, but we are in the front rank, and I do think we have an opportunity here to do some point blank shot shenanigans. So let's let's put in PBS and kind of run like this, uh, because finally, um, we've got Bonnie who will uh, be our front ranker here. Uh, so that means Firefly is right out because she's never going to get to use it. Um, I don't know that we need run and hide either. So we'll bring in Cauterize and Hearthlight. Um, we'll bring in Backdraft. I've I've not been super keen on Backdraft, but we'll we'll give it a shot. It's either that or Ransack, and Ransack's not going to be any more exciting. And she is evasive, but a coward. Well, that's a little concerning. Um, does that does that mean we actually do need to have Ransack in? I kind of think it does. I we need a way for her to get back to the front. Uh, for Pathwise, uh, she's going to be in the front, so Orphan doesn't really appeal. Survivor wouldn't be bad. But I kind I kind of like the idea of maybe Arsonist. Or Survivor. Uh, we'll take out Arsonist. Um, her, like... The runaway skills do hit, like Ransack and Backdraft do hit a little bit, but like Backdraft's damage I believe is fixed, it's damage variable versus like damage 3-6, so I think Backdraft is unaffected, and Dragonfly is the big value add here, just getting that extra burn resistance and crit chance seems worthwhile. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's, oh well, let's do Calor Pallets here. Um, ooh. Kind of like the orphan look, a little, little ash gray. But the poker? Yeah, that vibes. All right, let's do it. So it's been a long while since I ran Don't Fear the Reaper. We are going after Denial uh, as uh, our uh, starting voiceover uh, you know, indicated. We are. Um, I'm getting into a cadence here. I'm just going to play through the confessions one after another each time. Because I feel like that, that creates an interesting variety of runs and also gives me an opportunity to let formations that maybe would struggle on certain bosses to have the opportunity to succeed against a boss that fits their kit uh, in this case let's talk let's kind of refresh our memory about how don't fear the reaper sort of works um it is definitely colored by its hero paths here um we'll talk about death armor here in a second but in the end, we are looking at a formation that has very high damage output. Every character here is very much a damage dealer. Wow, that didn't take long, did it? Um, so we definitely have a formation that is really looking to deal some damage. Um, but that comes at the cost of really not having a tank. The, you know, each, each member of the formation has some minor evasive skills oh this is unfortunate um you know like the highwayman has a way to generate dodge i believe the runaway can as well uh we don't really want to how do we do this sorry i'm now thinking like pull him up to the front but then we don't get to use our crit token on pbs we'll just smoke screen him that works but like I was saying, so we don't really have a, a tanky a tanky uh, member here. Oh shoot, I need to get rid of... I, we have Dead of Night, don't we? Yeah, we have Dead of Night. Oh, we don't have Dead of Night. Whoopsie. Real big error there. Okay, cool. Protect the child. Protect the child did the thing for us. That's very, very kind of him. So, let me focus. Tanks. Um, we, ha we have a... We don't really have a tank. We do have a healer in the form of the Occultist, as well as both um, two off healers. Uh, Audrey can heal herself, and um, Bonnie can heal off of bleeds, giving us a decent amount of healing output. It's not, like, earth-shaking, 
but it's also not nothing, which is kind of the uh, the goal, I think. You want you want to have enough healing to get the job done. Get rid of that corpse to bring PBS back into play here. And let's let's pause a moment to talk about the armor break mechanic there. So rather than having a percentage death blow resistance like our hero, um, this guy now just has two death blow resistance tokens. Once you hit through both of them, he dies. So much more deterministic in how the fight begins and ends. Um, at the um, at the price of not getting those like once in a while, you'd get like a fifty a fifty fifty, and it'd come out in your favor. You're never going to get that now. It's always going to be the same number of hits. But that does mean that you can actually plan for it rather than praying that something dies. So sorry, I've been a little scattered here. Um, finishing up on the formation, very high damage output, pretty good healing output, not really a ton of stress healing. Um, Audrey can stress heal herself, and that's basically it. So this formation definitely has some flaws in it, um, but basically its philosophy is if we kill the enemy quickly, it can't, uh, they can't hurt us anymore. Yeah, you can't, they can't kill you if they're already dead. All right, how do we do against How do we do against the dreaming general? We don't We don't do awful cuz Audrey Audrey and Elhazred can ping the root forever. Clive and Bonnie can just deal deal a ton of damage to the boss. The provinces and cantreds of our land this does let us know where the hospital is, and I actually kind of want to take that. Not not to get the candles. I don't care about the candles now. I've fully unlocked the altar, and I don't care about my score. But knowing where the hospital is would let us get rid of Coward, which is going to be quite annoying. Also, possibly, like, Pyrophobic, maybe? Maybe Hemophobic or Occultomania as well? Yeah. I think I think we go to the... We go to the Sprawl. We may face the Librarian. We may not. It's sort of a either or uh but what is important is as we lock this in getting to that field hospital and getting rid of some of the more obnoxious skills oh so we do have the new mechanic so for four relics we can reshuffle arsonist into something else cool so let's lead off with um hmm i think we pop first of all let's pop out absinthe for dead and night for the moment um, there's no sense in upgrading Bonnie in this first, in the sprawl. Like, she's just not going to do a lot. And we're just going to have to live with that. Um, sacrificial stab, burning burning stars, all those. Um, weakening curse. I did say I want to use this more. And removing strength and crit tokens is not nothing. So maybe that gets the upgrade. I do think flashing daggers and poison dart get their upgrade. I think this is just absolutely insane upgrades for us. And I kind of want dead of night too. But I think we'll hold off. We'll do take aim. Maybe we just go like full damage. Like full damage bring the pain. Um, yeah, that actually kind of appeals. Burning stars will be good enough on its own right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're just going to dump our points into Clive here. We're going to let him be... Let him be the big boy. And we're just going to go full damage output and try to get it done. I do have a bunch of uh, these flames. Um, I did think about potentially using one. Let's see what the, let's see what we got here. So, less positive relations chance, less flame drain, less max flame. Corpse light, no safe routes. Corpses transform into carrioners. Man, that would be good if we had a way to get rid of corpses consistently. Plus speed for us. Mm. Ooh, that one's a pass. Stygian Blaze. Mm. <laughs> I think we'll pass. I don't think we'll take any of them. Uh, that's... Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty, like, all of these are really interesting. I'm sure that there are a lot of, like, challenge and fun to play with. I just, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to win with each named formation. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to back away from those for right now. 
So we could go with the damage buff here. We shift we shift in and around. Um, I did like the reanimated rabbit. That actually has some extra tempting to like get some more HP on our people. But I think it needs to be the pygmy pliskin here. Um, given yeah, given how um, fragile this formation is, I do think we need to have an extra source of healing just to like kind of help tank up our people. Let's see what we got down here. Uh, trinket organizer. Oh, ice box. That actually would have ooh, that actually would have made the rabbit pretty good. I probably should check that, but I don't I don't know that that matters. It would have made it very easy to stack up. Increased chance of looting trinkets, trap makers. Uh, I mean, Raven's Reach. Yeah, Raven's Reach can come along. That's a very strong. Um, that's a very strong trinket for um, Clive here, and uh, maybe yeah, we'll take the ice box along. Why not? Uh, I do want both of these adrenaline tonics. We'll take the burn salves because those are good. We'll take both stale breads at elite at least, and we can afford the steak and spuds, but. I think we don't take the stake and spuds. We instead do this and let Audrey and Alhazred sort of be. Um, because I think our objective here is going to be let, um, let them tank a little bit and just trust that Audrey and Alhazred can sort of keep themselves safe. We'll pop that in. I guess we could... Oh, no, they're gone. Okay, we, we can't swap to the rabbit. I do think we save these 48 relics because I really need to get rid of Coward. That's a very um, that's a very annoying trait to have. And then, like, I kind of want to get rid of one of these to preserve Vicious. So, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, check out next time when uh, Don't Fear the Reaper and its uh, new attempt heads into the sprawl. Until next time, see ya!